All right, this is Algebra 2 Fractus ELC question 46, and it says, which ordered pair is a solution to this system of equations, okay? There are so many different ways that you could do this problem, and I'm going to try to show you an easy way, and then I'm going to show you kind of a more mathematical way to look at this problem, okay? The really easy way that you can solve this problem is you can look at your ordered pairs. Example, you have your two equations, first off. This equation has an x squared in it this equation only has an x in it so this equ equation down here is probably going to be the easiest one that you can use to kind of plug values into this okay again you have all of these values on the left those are your x values again when you're learning to say your ABC's ABCDFG you're going to get to x before you get to y so your x is always that value that's on the left okay so what you can do is you can take your x value plug it in for your x and see what y you get out and it should be this number if it's not it then you know that it's wrong okay so for choice f if you plugged in your six you would have six times negative three which should give you negative eighteen but negative eighteen plus nine is negative nine we plugged in a six we should have gotten out a one we ended up getting out a negative 9. So that means that choice F cannot be correct, okay? Well, now we need to try the same thing with our next ordered pair. We have 4 and 0. So if we plug in a 4, we have y equals negative 3 times 4 plus 9, okay? Well, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and then negative 12 plus 9 is negative 3. So when we plugged in a 4, we ended up getting out a negative 3. Well, we're supposed to get out a 0. So G also cannot be correct. Okay? Well, let's check F. I'm sorry, H. We already checked F. Hello. All right, let's check H. If you plugged in a 2, you'd have Y equals negative 3 times 2 plus 9. Okay? Well, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 9 is 3. So we're probably thinking that when we plugged in a 2, we got a 3. So we're probably thinking that H is going to end up being our correct answer. But let's just make sure with J, double check that just to make sure that we know how to do math here. We're supposed to take a 1, plug it in. So you have Y equals negative 3 times 1 plus 9. Well, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And then negative 3 plus 9 is 6. So when we plugged in a 1, we ended up getting out a 6. So we also realized that J is not correct. So we know that H has to be our correct answer, okay? So again, that's the really, really easy way that you could do this problem. All right, you can also do this by plugging them into your calculator. Again, notice that my first equation, my y sub 1, I have x squared minus 6x plus 11. My y sub 2, I have the negative 3x plus 9. So if you press graph, you should be able to see kind of where these intersect. Again, it's asking you which order pair is the solution to the system of equations, which means that you want to know where they're going to intersect. Well, if you look here, you have an intersection probably somewhere in here, but you can't exactly tell by looking at this graph, okay? So a really cool way to, that you can kind of do this is you can kind of look at a table of values here, okay? If you press second and then graph again, it's going to pull up this table for you, okay? Well, it says here that these values in this column, those are your x values, which that should kind of make sense to us here, okay? Whenever you plug an x into this first equ your equation that we plugged in, so our quadratic equation, that's what your y values are going to be. And whenever you plug it into your bottom equation, your linear equation, that's what your y value is going to be at that x, okay? Well, again, since we're kind of doing a system of equations here, what you're looking for is where your two y's are going to be exactly the same, okay? So if you scroll through these columns, your y sub 1 and your y sub 2, you're trying to find your numbers that are going to be the, the exact same. So if you look here, you see that we have 1, 6, and 6. So these two values, those are the same, okay? So at 1, our x value, that's what our x value is. We should have been at the order pair 1, 6. 
well that was one of our intersection points well we don't see that here okay we see 6 1 which some people might think that that is correct but that can't be correct because again your X value has to come first just like when you're saying the alphabet you will get to X before you get to Y so your X has to be first so you need to have the number one there so that's why F can't be correct okay well then if you look at the next one where you have a 3 and a 3 you realize that at the ordered pair or at the number 2 that was your x value you had a y value and both of those equations again those numbers are the same of 3 well if you look here we do have the ordered pair 2 3 which is again going to tell us that our answer is choice F and we rock good luck